folks, welcome aboard the channel. I'm Don, this is Rockin' a Country, and uh, I'm also known as the Jersey Cowboy. That shirt proves that Penny Hadland sent me that shirt. It was really sweet. She had it made. I've never referred to myself as a Jersey Cowboy, but uh, in some ways I am a lone cowboy. I like to do things on my own, and or a lone ranger, I don't know. Anyway, I'm doing a gift request. Jacob Herrick, shout out to you. Thank you for this gift, my friend, for a Wade Bowen song, Who I Am. Am. I don't know what this is going to be. Based on this title, I think this is going to be a, a heck of a reaction. Let's put it that way. Oh, it's live. Yeah, I don't know this song. This Texas country. I love to watch the sunset as it feeds behind the trees. Me too. To talk with God and get down upon my knees. Hmm. I love the times I spend with my family and friends. Love to dream about. All the places I've never been And I love to watch you laugh and smile I love to watch you dream Loving when you take my hand Let me know you believe in me <laughs> I'm so thinking about a particular woman right now and I love it that you're my girl I love that I'm your man Now that you're in my life, baby I know exactly who I am There you go There you go Good choice, Jacob Your time's coming, my brother. Well, I know I love the ladies. Love to go out at night. Love it how we make up each and every time that we fight. Oh, I yeah. love you oh, so very much. Yeah, I love him all the words can say. And I don't know how or why, but I love instrumentation here so creative you know it's the pitch of that guitar it's so different unexpected almost in this song I don't know why it was or is that way for me Who I 
You can hear the lady singing this. Thank you. He just says it matter of fact. Like, Thank you. Because he sang the song a whole bunch of times by this point. Especially if it's on an album. That's not the first time they sang it. And so many parts in this. I mean, believing in another person or when someone believes in you, it changes you. It means they see inside you. They're, they're, what they see agrees with what you probably know about yourself. And it's pained you that nobody else has seen it or few people have seen it. Or maybe they've seen snippets. But in this world, I did a video. on. That. I might have even posted it a couple of years ago on this channel. But I did it for my life coaching channel on uh, believing in another person like what it is how important it is like in many ways it's easy to love another person but we're not schooled to believe in another person because you have to be an observer to believe in another person you have to be an observer of things of value things that they value and and then speak to it and so when you're in a relationship with a significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, uh, husband. The idea of believing in them, it isn't just saying, oh, you're wonderful, or uh, well, these are nice things to hear and say in moments. But when you get specific about what it is you see in another person, whether they're kind, whether they're organized, whether they're creative, whether they're intelligent, whether they're artistic, whether they're a great lyricist in the context of songwriting or any other type of writing or whatever they're gifted in, whatever their strengths are, when you I, and you speak to it, it's like, wow, this person's paying attention to me and they're confirming what I know or they're getting rid of doubts that I had about myself because if someone on the outside is seeing it, maybe there's something to it. And it just feels good when someone believes in you. It's like, I'm in your camp. I will not harm you. I see what's in you. I believe in it. I love it and all that. And that is just good stuff. So, Jacob, yeah, man, uh, you know, I know a little bit just from what you've revealed in the, in the comments and stuff. But, I mean, I know what it's like to have been dumped. I don't know if you were dumped. That may be a fair mischaracterization. I was dumped, so I get it. Like, I'll speak about me and how much it sucks for a long, 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 long time. But when you do find somebody who kind of fits the mold of this song, it changes. It just changes you. It does. You find out who you are. You find out what your limits are. You find out where you might screw this next relationship up. You start looking at that ahead of time. Like, oh, don't do that. Don't think this. Don't be afraid of that. Be like this. Pay attention to her. Too. Whatever it is, but you find out your strengths and weaknesses pretty quickly if you're paying attention. So it's not only uh, about um, paying attention to the other person. But it's also paying attention to yourself and, and taking personal inventory. And, you know, you'll find out what your comfort levels are in, in the relationship to where you could actually, like I tell my gender, like not just life coaching, but when I'm talking with younger guys, I'm like, it's, and I tell the girls this too, but it's not that hard to get a girl. It's way harder to keep her. And that's where the work begins. You can get a girl. It's sort of like starting a business in a way where, it's not hard to have a good first year in a business. The hard thing is how do you keep refreshing your business and such to keep it so that people keep wanting to come back? In a, in a sort of like similar dynamic with another person, it's not that hard to get that first date, second date, third date, maybe even start to fall in love. But how are you once you've got the girl? That's where your work begins as a man. My opinion, obviously, I'm the one giving it. But that's where the work begins in a relationship for guys. And it's true for women, but I'm just speaking particular to my gender. What are we doing to keep that woman? Because she has needs, she has fears, she has doubts. There's body image things. There's all kinds of things that women deal with. And as a guy, if you're one of the ones that actually pay attention to it, then she's going to be a happy woman. And she, in turn, is going to believe in you. So... Yay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got to rate this. All right. Not 9.0. That's what hit me. 9.0. Strength of the lyrics. Instrumentation was kind of fun too, but the lyrics on that one got me good. I'm still talking as you can tell. Okay, guys. Have a great day, Jacob. Thank you, my friend. Your time is coming. It might even be here.
Yeah, but and I'm sure you'll let me know. I hope you do. So there we go. Have a great day, folks. See you in another video. Keep rocking the country.